Hi, I am Dr. Prakash. I am an Anatologist at uh, Cloud9 Chennai. So newborns are uh, babies uh, with less up to 28 days, we say them as a neonate or a newborn. One of the most common problem which occurs in neonate is uh, respiratory distress. To classify broadly the causes of respiratory distress, we can differentiate into either a term baby or a preterm baby having respiratory distress. The things common to both of them are a respiratory distress, the fast breathing occurs because of fluid in the lungs happening in the baby. It's called as transient tachypnea of newborn. And another reason is respiratory distress syndrome. Even though respiratory distress syndrome is quite common in babies with preterm babies, it can happen in term babies also. What do you mean by term and preterm? Preterms are babies less than 37 weeks and term babies are who are babies who are born after 37 weeks of gestation. Besides these, the other common thing which can happen is common to both are pneumonia. A pneumonia is a infection in the lung happening in babies. It can happen both in a term as well as a preterm baby. If the mother has a fever before delivery or if the mother has a, a draining, a foul smelling drainage before a delivery, if the mother has a pain in the uterine region before delivery, there is a higher probability or a chance that the baby might develop a congenital pneumonia. Congenital malformations, any anomalies or defects happening in the pathway of the respiratory system can also lead to respiratory distress in a neonate. Things which are very common for a term baby or which is more common in a term baby is a meconium aspiration syndrome. Meconium aspiration is a passage of stools inside the womb by the baby. Since the baby is breathing inside the womb, he might inhale some amount of the meconium into his lungs which can cause the respiratory difficulty in a newborn baby. These are the, some of the common causes of the fast breathing or respiratory distress in a neonate.